measurement of portfolio risk and return, diversification and e-portfolio formation. When you invest in a combination of assets, you create an investment portfolio. When a rational investor invests, they build a portfolio of investments instead into a single asset. During the process of constructing the optimal portfolio, several factors such as risk and return of the individual assets are taken under consideration. Creating a portfolio for an investor requires an understanding of the risk profile of the investor. Portfolio risk There is a chance or a risk that a portfolio may not meet all your financial goals. This is known as portfolio risk. Such risk can only be minimized. Measurement of portfolio risk It is measured using the standard deviation of the portfolio. We also need to consider the covariance between the assets. The covariance reflects the co-movements of the returns of the two assets. The formula for determining the covariance of returns of two securities is as follows. Portfolio return It refers to the gain or loss realized by an investment portfolio containing several types of investments. Investors typically are interested in one or more sets of portfolios and their aim is to get a balanced return back over time. Many types of portfolios are available to investors, right from equities, debt to balance fund, consisting of a mix of shares, bonds and cash. Portfolios may also depend on geographical area. Measurement of Portfolio Return The return of a portfolio is calculated by taking the weighted average of the returns on the individual assets. For example, if you have an investment of Rs 30,000, you create a portfolio of investments in A, Rs 20,000 and B, Rs 10,000. The second step is to assign weights to the individual investment. The weight of investment A would be 2 thirds and weight of investment B would be 1 third. Let us assume that the expected return of A is 15.65% and expected rate of return of B is 20.25%. Portfolio return of the overall portfolio would be 2 thirds multiplied by 15.65% plus 1 third multiplied by 20.25%. Diversification Diversification is a venerable rule which could be defined by a famous quote that is, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It is a risk management strategy that mixes a wide variety of investments with a portfolio. Through this, an investor can reduce investment risk. A single country equity fund will generally be riskier than a globally diversified equity fund. When investing, you have to limit your risk to a level of acceptability. There is no such thing as risk-free. E-portfolio. It is a collection of works that reflects an individual efforts, progress and accomplishments. An e-portfolio is a public window for showcasing personal achievements. There are many benefits to having an e-portfolio that is wider knowledge, facilitated communication and a skills assessment source for teachers. Formation of e-portfolio. To create an e-portfolio, one should follow these following steps. Collection. Collecting artifacts depending on purpose, audience and the future use. Selection. Selecting artifacts that reflect the learning objectives. Reflection. Stating the impact on one's learning. Projection. Based on learning, setting goals for the future and presentation. Structuring and publishing the selected artifacts to communicate with others. These steps will help guide the process as it unfolds to make sure students are on track. When they are unsure as to next step, in their path, reference these and it should align them back to the original goal and purpose of the e-portfolio.